I was getting nice and comfortable with her. And uh, knowing that if this is your first time to yoga nidra, we do start off with getting as comfortable as possible. During the process though, if you need to adjust at any time or go from seated to laying down, do that. Um, I like to say any yoga I teach has no rules. <laughs> so we sometimes think that yoga can be really structured. I've had my own experiences with that, whether it's like a yoga studio or someone's philosophy or theory that they're teaching to do with it. And it's really structured and like this is how your leg needs to go and things like that so this is the kind of yoga i like to teach is there is no rules and i want you to learn to trust your intuition and your guidance so if you need to move you listen to that if your mind is wandering you just come back to listening to my voice or maybe slightly telling yourself you're safe, it's okay, like finding what it is that you need and kind of becoming your own greatest, I want to say hero or warrior or strength, spirit, all those words that we kind of look for outside ourselves and starting to find it within ourselves first and trusting the self. So I chose the nature one today because I find every time I take just that extra bit of time to go into nature or spend time in it, that's when I do feel myself again. So it's more peaceful. You realize like less is more. What really is more in definition of feelings and true success instead of more than items and continuous grasping. So I wanted to do one today that was really unique to one of our greatest teachers, which is nature itself. So right now we're gonna start our practice off with yoga nidra first. And let's begin by lying or seated, use any props you need. And then on your next exhale, starting to drop your breath. When I use the word drop, kind of visualize in your mind's eye what it would look like slash what it feels like to put breath all the way to the bottom of your belly. And then your inhales, you're drawing breath up and expanding from the bottom of your belly. The whole belly feels, ribs expand. And on your exhale, everything slowly falls in towards you and relaxes. And for the next few moments, just letting this be your focus. Picturing the belly, feeling your belly. And I'm starting to picture and visualize the word slow. If that word slow just allows you to breathe slower. It allows your mind to be slower. I notice if you reject the word slow. The picture, even that word within your chest your back, shoulders, arms, hips, and legs. Slowly breathing. Finding ease in that feeling of being more slow and noticing when you scan the body with this word, if you need to make adjustments again. The legs are laying out. Maybe the toes need to fall away from each other. Today we're going to add a mantra with our breath, so something new for all of us. 
On your inhale, slowly repeating, I am. And on your exhale, slowly repeating, I am. Now allowing your focus to be on the breath, but also adding a simple but powerful statement to each inhale. And each exhale. Noticing how it feels in the body. And maybe you notice other areas start to let go. Embracing the mind, breath, and the body together. I am. I am. Be four to five more rounds of breath, just as you are. Feeling the words and the breath connect as they draw in. And release all the way out. And just start to settle into this feeling. You can repeat this connection of words and breath at any time. I am. I am. I love using these words and the breath together because sometimes you can add I am strong. I am ease. I am peace. And sometimes it's nice to not add anything. Remembering that you are everything. I am an open ended way of saying this of all possibilities. Now, starting to become aware of the space between your body and the earth beneath you. Just dropping your awareness and your mind there. Noticing internally what is between your body and the earth right now. Maybe there's an object you're laying on, the floor, your bed, a mat, and start to visualize what that looks like. You have the back of your body, wherever you are seated or laying down. You have the host that you're in or structure you're in, and then you have the earth below all that. Invite your body to soften and surrender into this feeling of connecting you the self, your body, and the earth. Now noticing, you can now set this intention to be connected to the earth. Starting to visualize the space between you and the earth becoming smaller and smaller. Now you and the earth are one, surrendering, you're grounded, steady, and at ease. Your body is relaxed, connected to the earth. Now start to begin to notice the sounds. What sounds do you hear that are far away? And you can jump from sound to sound and you don't have to label them. Just jump from one sound to the next. Do you hear something outside the room? And then closer, what is in the room? And then what is even closer 
something down near to you. Actually, your awareness closer from that expansion of speaking sounds far away. So now everything comes closer to you in your body. Now the sounds are as close as possible you are aware of. You're breathing. sound of air traveling in the nostrils and the sound of your breath leaving your nose. Noticing the sound of your heart. I'm starting to do one more scan here before we begin our full rotation of awareness to the body. Relaxing your face even more. Do a scan of relaxation on the back of your body, front of your body, continuing to follow my voice. Starting to bring your awareness to the feeling of your jaw. Relaxing the right side of the jaw. The left side of the jaw. The whole of your jaw relaxes here together. I'm sending that relaxation to the whole of your chin. Relaxing your upper lip. Lower lip. The whole of your lips relax here together. Relaxing the top row of your teeth. Bottom row of teeth. The whole of your teeth and mouth relax here together. Relax the whole of your tongue. Relax the tongue, mouth, teeth, and jaw here together. And sliding and sending their awareness to the top of your head. Relaxing the hair on the head. Right side of the head. Left side of the head, back of the head and all the hair on your head, relaxing all of these spaces lifted here together. As you relax the whole of your forehead, Sending that relaxation easily into the right eyebrow. Left eyebrow. The whole of your eyebrows relax here together. And 
and dropping relaxation to your right eye, left eye, all of the eyes and the back of the eyes relax here together. Sending relaxation over the eyelids and the eyelashes. any relaxation to the whole of your cheekbones and now relaxing the whole of your face here together. Relaxing the whole of your face and the whole of your head here together. Sending relaxation into the right side of your body. Starting with the right hand. The right hand thumb. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, Elbow, upper arm, shoulder, the whole of the right arm, hand and fingers, relaxing and ease here together. Dropping that relaxation awareness into your right armpit. Right set of ribs. Right side of your waist. Hip. Right thigh. Knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot. Pull the leg, ankle and foot relax here together. Adding that ease and relaxation to your right big toe. Second toe. Third toe. Fourth toe. Little toe. The whole of the right side of your body. The whole of the right side of your body. The whole of the right side of your body. Well, sending that same feeling of relaxation, awareness, and balance into your left hand. Beginning here on this side with the left hand thumb. Second finger.
third finger, fourth finger, little finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, the whole of the left arm, hand, and all five fingers relaxing now here together. Relaxing to the left armpit. Ribs. Waist. Hips. Left thigh. Knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot. A left big toe, second toe, fourth toe, little toe, the whole of the left of your body relaxes here together. Relaxing the whole of the left side of your body here together. Relaxing the whole of the left side of your body here together. With any relaxation, enjoy your right buttock. Left buttock. Lower back, mid back, upper back, right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, back of the neck. Back of the head, right inner ear, left inner ear, roof of the mouth, throat, right collarbone. Left collarbone, right chest, left chest, middle chest, upper abdomen, navel, Lower abdomen, the whole of the spine, the whole of the head, right arm, left arm, 
to hold the right leg, to hold the left leg, both legs together. The whole left front of your body. The whole the back of your body. The whole the body. The whole the body. The whole the body. And pausing for the next few moments in silence here together. Now bring your awareness to your breath. Follow the gentle tide of your breath. Envision your breath as a golden light flowing up and down your spinal column. With your inhale, the golden light flows from the tailbone to the crown of the head. And with your exhale, it flows from the crown of the head back down to the tailbone. Feeling this cosmic tide of breath moving through the body, feeling the golden light move to the spine. Stay with your breath as it flows up and down your spinal column. Golden, vibrant, radiant. Now imagine you're standing outside in nature. You feel your bare feet on the earth. You're now standing in an open meadow surrounded by a lush forest. You tip your face upward to feel the warmth of the sun. You smell the wildflowers in the air. In the distance, you see a path leading into the forest. You walk towards the path and step into the forest.
Once inside the forest, your eyes adjust to the shade of the tree. The path continues in front of you and winds easily up the hillside. Sunlight shines through the trees. Birds sing in the distance. You continue on the path as it climbs steadily uphill. Near the top of the hill, you see a small opening in the side of the mountain. This opening is a cave. You feel drawn to the cave and walk toward it. Within the cave, you see a single lit candle. You realize you stumbled into a sacred temple. You sit down upon the earth and a sense of calm washes over you. You feel at peace with all that is. You need nothing from the outside world. You gaze into the candle flame and you continue to drop into deep meditation. In the middle of the flame, you see the purest golden seed. Untouched by the flame, on the surface of the seed, seeing the words, I am. Gaze into the flame once again. The seed is no longer in the flame. The seed is now in your heart. I am. I am. I am. Allowing these words and your guided imagery to float through you for the next few moments in silence again here together. And bringing your awareness into your heart space. Allowing the words loving kindness to stir up what those feelings and words mean to you. Love and kindness. Pure loving kindness. Staying as you are, feel free to bring one hand to the heart or both hands. 
sending loving kindness to yourself first. Imagine you're looking at yourself like you're looking into a mirror. Feel the feeling of loving kindness swirling around in the heart. Send the love from your heart to yourself. Saying to yourself and to that person you see back, that image of you in that mirror, it's always saying, I love myself. May I be safe, may I be happy. Now imagine you're looking at your family, any siblings, relatives, or chosen family. It doesn't have to be by birth or blood. Imagine who you consider your family. Feel love moving around in your heart. Send love from your heart to your family. And silently saying to yourself, I love my family. May my family be safe. May my family be happy. Now imagine you're looking at your friends and teachers. Feel love swirling around in your heart. Send the love from your heart to your friends and teachers. Think to yourself, I love my friends and I love my teachers. May my friends and teachers be safe. May my friends and teachers be happy. Now imagine someone who has hurt you or hurt your feelings. Imagine that they're standing right in front of you. Feel love moving around in your heart. Send the love from your heart to this person who has hurt you. Think to yourself, I love this person even though they hurt me. May this person be safe and may this person be happy. Now imagine the earth, all the people, plants and animals that live here. Feel love moving around in your heart. Send the love from your heart to the earth and all of its being. Think to yourself, I love the earth and all of its people, plants and animals. May they all be safe and may they all be happy. Now start to visualize all that love and kindness you just sent out is now coming back to you. Feel the love that is coming back to you from your family, your friends, your teachers, all the people, the earth, the beings, and the world. Let that love into your heart and pause and feel this feeling.
Now slowly bring your awareness back to your breath. Feeling your belly rise. And your belly fall. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Doing that again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Bring your awareness to the sounds close to you your heartbeat, and your breath. And allowing that sound awareness to expand from the sounds closest to the body to the furthest away. Starting to visualize objects between you and the earth. Visualizing energy from the bottom of the feet, traveling over the legs, to the heart and belly, from the fingers, arms, shoulders, to heart, and from the head down to the heart space. Slowly take your time to bring your awareness back to your body. Telling your spirit and body that it is safe. Feeling the toes, fingers, rotating your wrists, your ankles. Doing any full body stretches or mini stretches you need. Head can rock side to side. Taking your time and taking as little or as much room as you like. Feel free to stay as you are and continue relaxing as long as you need. Hands can be on the front of the heart or on the heart. Feeling full of love. Feeling grateful for the remembrance of the reflection back of love and also of our true nature, which can be nature itself. I grace, love, and gratitude for our time here together. This is how I stay together. Namaste.